Hello, my name is Sarah and I live in the Portsmouth Diocese down on the south coast and I work in a very large secondary school and a primary school as a chaplain. Today I'm going to be sharing with you chapter 21 in the Promised Land. Before his death, Moses named Joshua as his successor. He was to lead the Israelites into the land of Canaan, in which Abraham, Isaac and Jacob had lived. However, the tribes which lived in Canaan did not want the Israelites to enter the land. Under Joshua's leadership, the Israelites were faithful to God's promise. They did not let themselves be driven away. Gradually, they conquered the land. They built villages there and lived as farmers like the Canaanites. The Israelites were able to learn a great deal from the Canaanites, when to sow the grain and harvest the grapes, how to make the best tools, how to cook and how to dress. But there was one thing they were not allowed to imitate from the Canaanites if they were to remain faithful to the covenant with God. They must not worship the gods of the Canaanites, nor serve them. The Israelites found it hard to keep this commandment, for the Canaanites had places of sacrifice throughout the land, on mountains and under tall trees, and they worshipped their gods there, praying for rain and a good harvest. The Israelites discovered something new during this time. As long as they were faithful to the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, he would give them blessing and protection. But when they were unfaithful, they experienced suffering and hardship. However, when they returned to him, admitted their guilt and begged his forgiveness, then he would turn back to them once more and bless them. Life is so different for everyone right now. We're not at school and we're spending all our time at home. We might be getting used to it by now, but every day is different and we're all learning together. Similar in many ways to the Israelites as they entered Canaan. They had to adapt to their new surroundings and way of life. The Canaanites were not very happy about the Israelites moving into their land, but they managed to work together and learn many new things. This time is a great opportunity for us to learn new things. Maybe not how to harvest grapes, but how to look after our garden, how to cook, how to bake, and how to do important jobs around the house. These are fantastic lessons we all need to learn, and things that we can't always learn at school. We need to remain faithful, just like the Israelites during this time. When we are faithful to God and trust in his promises, he gives us many blessings and his powerful protection. It might not feel like we are in the promised land right now, but this is where God wants us to be right now. And he's asking us to trust him and keep believing in his promises. The Israelites were led into the promised land by God. And we have been led into this lockdown by the same loving God. Perhaps now, we shall start to see this time as a gift, an opportunity to grow and learn new things. A time of trusting more deeply in our wonderful God who always keeps his promises.